Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. Thank you so much for clicking on today's review. Today I wanted to review and also do a wear test on the Fenty Beauty East Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I'm actually super excited to test it out but kind of nervous because it's supposed to be more on the lighter coverage. Uh, but it is supposed to be long wearing, blurring, and I have oily texture acne skin. So if you're new here, I do have my shade range foundation playlist. Check everything out in the description box below. So yeah, if if you're looking for an oily acne texture skin review thank you on watching okay so this foundation retails for $29 well $29 and 50 cents so pretty much $30 and it's called the East Drop Blurring Skin Tint um, moisturizer which I honestly am kind of nervous but excited to test it out at the same time you guys know I'm a full coverage type of girl I love the coverage I love the makeup I just you know give me all the glam but today I wanted to test this out and see if it gives you some sort of coverage because in the before and after in the Sephora website they look so pretty like everyone looks just beautiful so i picked up two shades i picked up the shade in number 11 and i also picked up the shade number 12 and then whichever one doesn't work i'm gonna return it because girl i want my money back so this is a liquid formula light coverage it's vegan cruelty free it's long wearing it has a natural finish it's also supposed to leave the skin looking blurred and smooth and flexible shades for all i don't know if i mentioned it does come with 25 different shades which is good because i feel like for tinted moisture a lot of brands like to bring like two three shades and it's supposed to work for everybody so i'm really happy about that so this says right here if you're in the shade pro filter shade 280 they recommend shade 11 and then if you have the shade 310 on this they recommend the shade 12 so you see why i picked both of them up i want to see which one works better for me and for all of my foundation twins so this is what the packaging looks like. I actually like it because it's small and it's gonna be perfect if you guys do your makeup like on the go, traveling. You know, it's like the perfect everyday type of like makeup feel. Okay, so this is shade 11. I think this is my shade. And this one right here is shade 12, which is definitely a lot more warm golden undertone. So let me know which one you think is my shade. I feel like I'm gonna go with the neutral tone 11. Let's see if it oxidizes a little bit. While I wait for that, I do wanna say I am not wearing any filter. I went ahead and removed it off my camera so you can really see my like skin type, everything, you know, up close and personal. And um, I will also add a clip right now of me not wearing any makeup, really zoomed in so we can see a before and after. So I got you guys when it comes to that. If you guys wanna see, you know, how this works on more textured skin. So I don't think they oxidize really but i feel like it's gonna give me more coverage than i think it will which i'm excited about so let me remove this and then now i'm gonna moisturize my skin again i use this one from dr Zenobia. it's for acne prone skin if i don't use this i use the l jelly moisturizer that one's really good too but i'm just gonna apply right here on my skin and i'm just gonna add primer on this side of my skin. I'm going to use my one size beauty primer. So I'm going to make sure to shake this up. They recommend to do it with a brush or with your fingers. I'm going to try fingers first and then brush. I haven't used my fingers to apply foundation in a really long time, but in middle school when I first applied makeup, um, I know I started very young. I used to use scented moisturizer because I had really bad dark spots. So, you know, let's see how this, what it does. So that's what it looks like. It's not super liquidy. I'm just gonna go like this, I guess. what it looks like with one layer on my skin i feel like this does match me really good because it's neutral tone so it's going to be perfect for my everyday type of makeup because you know with everyday and outside lighting you want to make sure you go a little bit more neutral like this but i feel like it gives you coverage i was expecting it to be like super light coverage you know those foundations that don't do much for you this one seems to feel really light it feels a little bit sticky right now but it feels comfortable it feels like i can go like move my face you know a lot go in with the l buffing brush go like this now that i have it on i do feel like it does oxidize a little bit but in a good way like it turns into a nice neutral shade i actually 
really like the way it applies with the brush i'm honestly not even gonna lie to you i'm a little bit surprised i thought i wasn't gonna like this at all because you know light coverage me we just do not get along but this actually looks really pretty it looks like my skin will better i don't know if it would cover dark spots because right now i don't have as much dark spots as i used to like before but i feel like it does look pretty in top of texture which that's a really good sign because you know a lot of tints of my moisturizers just do not look that good and right now i don't even have anything on my forehead and you see how it looks like skin like it doesn't look like i'm wearing like a mask so i like to press it into the skin and i feel like it gives you such a beautiful matte yet still like your skin but better okay i'm actually really surprised I do not like it with my fingers. I feel like it looks really splotchy. So I would recommend you go in with the brush. Now that I have two layers on my skin, everything looks a lot more even out. So if that happens to you, this foundation or this tinted moisturizer, you can apply a little bit more in top and you can, you know, make it work doesn't look in, like splotchy or anything like that it's not doing anything weird at all i'm gonna mix my infallible full wear in the shade cashew with the dior forever skin correct in the shade a ver, ¿cómo se llama? okay i don't know oh two w o so i like to apply a little bit of dior here and then a little bit of the glorio Remember, I didn't even apply two layers here and I feel really comfortable and confident. So let me apply a little bit of my Anastasia setting powder in the shade Banana. I like to grab about that much. I like to tap excess and then I like to press it into the skin. And I'm going for more of an everyday look, but you guys know it's not even like natural. It's more neutral. That's like my go-to everyday makeup. And it's just giving me the coverage that I love without feeling heavy on the skin so if you were thinking like me that this is not gonna cover anything it's just gonna make you know do what a tinted moisturizer does you are incorrect this actually covers very nicely it evens out the skin it goes really nice with concealer setting powder so far i'm loving it and for setting powder i'm just gonna go in with the sephora micro smooth powder in the shade 30. So for bronzer today, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Island Thing. So this is such a beautiful, warm tone bronzer. And this is the BH Cosmetics in the shade, I mean the shade, in the, I don't even know what I'm saying. This is the BH Cosmetics brush number three. So let me, you know, add a little bit of life back into my skin. finish applying lower lash mascara this one right here from essence has been my go-to i feel like it makes your lashes look really nice and dramatic and then let me apply my benefit pen this one right here this is the benefit roller liner in the shade brown i like to make like a little line here i feel like it just opens up my eye a little bit more all right, so for lip combo, I went in with the KKW in the shade Nude 2. This is one of my favorite liners. It just looks really nice. And I like how she has different numbers for, you know, different skin tones. Um, so just went ahead, apply that. And now let's see. I do have the new Jaclyn Hill Liquid Lipsticks. This is in the shade Gratitude. I might just go in with this one. Because I've been going in with the Alondra lip kit from bh i feel like in every video so let me give it a break All right so i went ahead and finished my makeup it is currently 1 p.m um i also wanted to show you guys some swatches of all the fenty beauty products i do own before i do that though i'm going to show you how it looks like up close and personal i feel like it looks really pretty it feels super lightweight on the skin it feels like that type of product like you can lay down go like that and you know your makeup's gonna stick 
to place, you know, because it feels so lightweight. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a mask. It feels really comfortable. So this is what 290 looks like swatch. And then I have shade 11 and also 12. So in case for reference, this is the original foundation. And then this ones right here are the skin tints. So I would recommend it shade 11 for my foundation twins. You guys let me know. Let me know if you like the shade on me or if I should just stick to number 12. But I'm going to go, you guys, throughout my day and see how everything wears. I will also add a flash picture right here in case you guys want to see you know how it looks in flash since it doesn't have spf i feel like it should work so i'll put it right here um that being said i'm gonna go throughout my day and i'll see you guys in a couple of hours okay so i'm editing the video and i wanted to also show you how it looks like like on a regular camera with my phone i feel like this camera just makes me look really bad so i wanted to show you how everything looks like this is what it looks like right here. You see, you can still see some of my texture. And I honestly feel like both sides look the same with primer and without primer. So let me know what you think. I feel like they're both looking the same oiliness. You know, they both look the same and they're both wearing the same way. So I guess you can wear without the primer, but you can pair it up with the primer. It does look really good with that. Um, But yeah, guys, I'm going to continue editing this video. Just wanted to show you guys how it looks like with the phone as well. Okay, so I am back. It is currently 4.44 p.m. It's about to be 5 and I do want to get this video up for today. Um, but this is what my makeup looks like. This is what it looks like in natural lighting. I did switch to a lip gloss. I'm wearing, I think it's the Fenty Beauty. Let me see. This is in the shade Fussy. It's one of my favorite ones. But you guys, I'm honestly super, super impressed with the new Fenty Beauty um, Tinted Moisturizer. When my mom saw it, she said that my skin looked like really like filter like blurred so that's really good i do think it is blurring because other moisturizers or tinted moisturizers just make my skin look like just not that good um and also here is my mask for reference i did go get frozen yogurt and i don't think it's transfer proof but it's definitely there it's definitely long wearing i am gonna insert a clip of me wearing it right now up close so you guys can see it just looks really nice my skin feels like skin and it looks like skin it doesn't feel heavy at all yeah, i do not agree that it's transfer proof but i do think it's very long wearing i notice i'm starting to get just a little bit oily around like my usual Part. and it usually happens in the four hour mark i feel like my skin knows when it's like the four hours has happened and it just starts getting oily it just knows uh, but it's nothing like too intense and like i just want to take off my makeup it feels really comfortable and i'm just happy overall with this product i do recommend it i do think it's oily skin friendly i am gonna go ahead and blot my skin because i do want to see you know what happens so let me set you guys right here so I have my blotting sheets. These are the ones I usually wear. I just want to see if I get some oil out. But you see, my skin just looks healthy. It is a natural finish tinted moisturizer. So you see, I am starting to get a little bit oily. So like I said, it's going to be great for school. This is how much product I have. And it has been for four hours, which usually, like I said, I do get oily around this time around. But what I like about this is that I don't look super oily. You know, I still look like myself. Um, and not like expired makeup, but let me know in the comments below if you guys are gonna be picking out this tinted moisturizer If you guys, you know, if you guys like it on me Let me know your comments below and if you try it, let us know as well But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful blessed day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys